tires. You can see they're they're a mixed Italian breed. I had these uh, was my first package I ever bought. Playing up pretty good. This is the hive I created to accommodate uh, my top bars. That way, if I ever needed to switch them in and out from, you know, uh, cutouts or or whatever, I can. A lot of pollen, bringing a lot of pollen. Good pollen flow right now. Let's see, Queen, she's probably up this other frame here. Last time I got in these, they were a little angry. But then again, messed with for well, all winter. Oh, he double coned this one, that's why. Like there. Well, she's definitely on this one. The bees are a lot calmer somewhere on here. This thing's heavy. I double coned it. <laughs> She's fine. As long as they don't make it where I can't get in. Yep, these girls are going to explode. That's what I want, though. That's what I want. Alright, put your back. Queen. She's right there. She's got a little blue dot on her. It's towards the bottom here. Hold on. She's got a really good land pattern. Right here. See how dark she is? All solid. Look at that. God, she's got a smell. Woo! Strong. These girls are just awesome. More brew on that side. She's covering, staying right here. She's solid, though. Well, 
guess she's laying it up. Getting her numbers back up there. Okay, on to the next one. Alright, so this is, I showed this on a video on prior tail. Didn't really get to show you the whole thing, but uh, let's go up to it here. Uh, I'm kind of doing an idea. This is a removal or a cutout I did. Um, really good laying queen. As you can see, she's pretty solid. Um, little beetle. I see one beetle yet. Alright, this one ain't too bad though. Take one out of a uh, handful any day. Oh, there she is, right there. Another real dark one. She's like a uh, red-headed. Real dark red. Black tip. There it is. Pretty girl there. She's doing a job. That's what I want now. Check the other ones. See, that was a frame I had to use. I made for this because of the cutout. I wanted to put them in a top bar, so I put them on a frame. And this is stuff that they drew out naturally. I'll show you here. Look at that, folks. One more and close them up. I just want to make sure her pattern was spreading out. See how much honey they still had coming out of this winter. Make sure that they had enough everything. Ah, wow, she just really gets loaded this time. Last time I got in here, there was not as near much brood as there is now. Look at that, guys. That is just perfectly drawn out to the top bar. Try to get them move out of the way. I want to make sure I catch them when they start making drone. So I know when to split them. Now, you're probably wondering why I got these blue and purple dots they uh, let me know if I got brood pollen or honey or what do I got on each frame so every time I come in here I know uh, just stickers man I get rolls of stickers and stick them on top they come right off and when you're done them just come right off so yeah here's that one here are my other carnovians you can see they've got tons of honey yet to uh do with what they want with. Uh -huh, let me show you my prize Carnovian Queen. Right there. Not real, real big, but she is doing her job, as you can tell. I think we 
need to move anymore. I know what else is in here. But I figure I'd show you that. 